We learn from our mistakes and we improve them. But that tradition is our foundation and that's what we're lacking in society today. We don't have a tradition, we don't have a foundation, we don't have a direction, and we see everybody kind of stumbling around in chaos. We need men as leaders to step into the position of Gentlemen, saying, what's going on? We want a return to excellence. We look around us and we say, God, this world is in chaos. This is the Better Man channel where we choose to embark on that personal, individual journey to become a badass, a man of tradition, a man of excellence. We live in a world today where there's no code, there's no honor code of excellence, there's no exclusive uh, honor code of men saying this is what it takes to enjoy the privilege of excellence. We see a world today in this utopian aberrations where we've deviated from what it means to be badass, of what it means to be superior. And that's not the nature of man. And as leaders of culture, as leaders of society, as leaders of family, as those great innovators that set the course of excellence, we need to see men return to that level of tradition. Man, man, woman, woman, we're not going to stand for this non-binary participation trophy culture where everybody shows up and says, poor pitiful me, I don't feel like being a boy today, so I'm going to be a girl. I don't feel like being a girl today, so I'm going to be a boy. We're going to tear down the statues of tradition and excellence just because we want to change merely for the sake of change. And that's what we see in this culture that haven't been told no, right? We haven't set boundaries for this generation. And I'm, I'm a part of that generation. We haven't set boundaries, so we're like, there's no rules, there's no guidelines, and we tear down the rules, but we don't replace them with anything, right? I'm fine with adapting and becoming better. That's what it means to progress, to get better, to be man, always exploring new opportunities. But we see a culture that just tears down things just for the sake of it. We're just changing because we want to change because... This was too hard, so we want that, and oh no, I feel oppressed here, I'm, I'm a victim there, so let's just tear down the rules. There's no code of excellence, there's no high standard, we've lowered it down so that everyone can fit in, and we see the diminishing, the, the demise of this culture and our tradition, our foundation. We as men need to come up with this radical thought. What if we return to excellence? What if we return to men just being badass men? And you see the rest of the world in this politically correct world want to say, whoa, whoa, a return to tradition. Well, what about the chauvinist and what about the racist and what about the oppression? Oh, my God. Yes, let's evolve intellectually. Let's evolve. And, and here's how we can illustrate that. So think of a modern day badass submarine loaded with the missiles, the best technology. And think about the first war boat. Are they the same? And you'll think. Probably not, right? That first war boat of the Vikings isn't very similar to what we have now. But without that foundation, without the beginning of that, without that innovation, we couldn't have built upon that to have the submarine that we have today. That's the same as the tradition. We're not returning to the old and exactly how it was. It's a comparable evolution, right? That was the foundation that we build upon. So we learn from those racist moments. We learn from the oppressive. We learn from the chauvinist. We learn from our mistakes and we improve them. But that tradition is our foundation and that's what we're lacking in society today. We don't have a tradition, we don't have a foundation, we don't have a direction, and we see everybody kind of stumbling around in chaos. We need men as leaders to step into the position of saying, this is what we need, and this is the radical idea that's going to have to take place. If we want to recourse the demise of this civilization that is on the brinks of collapse, we need men to step up and say, hey, we're going to return to tradition. This is the radical thought. Men are men. Women are women. We're standing up and saying no more of the BS. This is what it means to be productive. We need a foundation of tradition to build upon. And yes, we're going to adapt and adjust. We've evolved intellectually. We've evolved emotionally. We've evolved spiritually. So we're not going back to an oppressive, chauvinistic, racist tradition. We're building upon the foundations and principles of that, that men are required to be strong, that men are required to be upright, that men are required to be that masculine virility to the sustained society. We need a leader to step up and say, this is right, that is wrong. If we're going to recourse the demise of this current civilization and culture, 
We're going to have to return to the tradition. We take that old Viking war boat as our foundation. We build upon it, adapt and adjust, load it with some missiles, load it with some technology, and now we have a badass culture. You're a man. That's what you're created to do, to take that stance, to take that position, to say this is what we stand for. We're no longer going to um, advocate this utopian aberrations where we deviate from the true course of what it means to be a sustainable culture. We need women to be strong women. We need men to be strong men. We need those two to unite so that the polarities of those are complementary and we can play off each other's strengths. Yeah, that's right. Men have strengths. Women have strengths and they're complementary to each other when we pull down this wall of division that's been built and constructed by a lack of tradition. Think about it. We have a lack of tradition. The family unit is being um, divided. Man is being effeminized. Women is being masculated. And we see the falling down of what upholds a powerful culture. If we want an excellent life, we have to return to the traditions, the principles, the morals, the values that uphold excellence. What are they? Well, we need to get back to that. And I promise you the left and this new woke generation has no idea of the foundation because they're trying to tear it down. Okay, we'll bring about some change. I'm cool with that. I'm accepting of some change and adapting and progressing, as you call it, progress. But you're not building any foundation. You're tearing away the, the foundation, the concrete foundation with these abstract woke ideologies, but you're not replacing it with any con create ideas, anything tangible. You know what is tangible? Strong damn men, strong damn women, united on the purpose of procreating and of upholding society and of becoming better and of actual literal progression, not this abstract ideologies and weak wokeism that's going on today. We want excellent lives. We want to return to something traditional, something that resembles order, and that's the key word, order. Today's society doesn't want order. They want disorder. They don't want rules and guidelines. You know, it's like telling my 10-year-old son, hey, you need to go to bed. It's bedtime because you have a ball game tomorrow on Saturday morning that you need to have energy to go play and, and be upright in that and actually be above average. Today's culture doesn't want order. It's, oh, that's not fair that I have to go to bed. That's not fair that I have to play by the rules. That's not fair that I have to do something that actually requires work so that I can actually enjoy the privilege of living. Everybody wants a handout. Everybody wants that easy button. We've got soft, right? And those hard times create strong men. Strong men create good times. Good men create weak times. Weak men create hard times. It's that cyclical nature. We're in that weak period, right? We're in that hard times. So let's step up, return to excellence by men saying, all right, I accept this responsibility to recourse life. I accept the responsibility to stand up and voice the truth against this BS that's being propagandized in today's culture. Stand up and we're going to bring that radical thought. Hey, what if you deplorable, degenerate society that we return to excellence. We return to tradition. We return to a damn foundation that we can build upon because I'm tired of watching my culture um, collapse into the quicksands of your ideologies and of your ignorance and of your weakness. It's time that we stand up and <laughs> evoke that spiritness that is within man that says, you know what, we're going to lead. We're not going to be marginalized to the corners of this world anymore. We're going to stand up and say, hey, we're sinking. And if you want to be that badass submarine that can stay afloat in this waters and tumultuous time, then we got to build upon that the foundation of the old, that old Viking boat. And yes, it had some uh, flaws. It had some deficiencies. But that's our foundation that we build upon so that we can stay afloat in these ignorant times where everybody's quickly sinking into this bullshit thinking. You're a man. Grab a hold of a radical thought based in tradition and foundational in the very principles of what it means to be man. Let's see men be men again. Let's see women be women again. Let's promote that. Let's applaud that on both sides of the sexes. And there are only two sexes, man, woman. I think if we begin to return to that as a very foundation, if nothing else then I think we can build upon this ignorance that society is trying to use as sand to build up something upon. And we see it's just shaky and blowing with the winds. There, there's no truth in their arguments. And so 
men of excellence, let's return to that tradition. Let's say this is what it is, and it's going to be a radical thought. People are going to look at you and say, yeah, I don't know. But we stand our ground because we know it's true. We know it's the foundation of actually constructing something that's lasting. I love you guys. I respect you guys. You are a man of tradition and excellence. Let that flow from your spirit. You guys will hear from me next episode.